Hi team, in this video I'm just going to show you the new ignore slope button on the world node and what this allows you to do is create the terrestrial ecosystems on an object of any shape. So here we have a torus, so previously it was only possible to really do this on landscapes. Um, but if we tell the system to um, ignore slopes, which was a feature that stopped uh, plants from growing on uh, surfaces that were kind of too steep for it, then we can, um, yeah, we can uh, grow ecosystems on anything. So uh, this is pretty simple to set up. I will show you just a very quick example of this. So uh, here are three trees. I'm just going to grab these three trees and create a mesh network from them. Uh, well, I have an ID node so that I have three different trees. Um, we can have a few more of them. And then I will add a torus to distribute onto, scale it up. And then uh, on the... Distribute node, we'll change the distribution type to mesh, drag in the torus, and then we have these trees scattered about the torus. Fair enough. So next we had a world node. Now world node's default mode is uh, a cluster, um, and we don't want that. We want to switch it to terrestrial ecosystem, and then with terrestrial ecosystem, we then need to add in the uh, torus input mesh shape. Now, by default, you'll see that everything kind of disappears, and that's because only a very small part of this torus is a, um, a kind of a hospitable mesh for um, the default settings. So if I just fast forward the system a few years, you'll see that we get more, but we only get them at the top of the, um, of the, of the torus. Uh, it looks like a very weird RT donut. So let's um, add a couple more trees in here. So we've got, um, let's call this one tree zero, and we need two more. So we've got tree one, and tree two. Um, I'm starting from zero because the first ID will be zero, and then the second ID is one, and the third ID is two. So that's why I'm calling them this. So, um, so tree one will have an ID of one, and then tree two will have an ID of two. And if I hit refresh here, um, we have we've lost a tree. What have I done? What have I done to deserve this? Um, they were all being killed off for some reason. More input points. They must have um, uh, been on a slope. Uh, the uh, other ID must have been in an area where it was deemed not worthy of growing. So, um, okay, so uh, now uh, I can just hit ignore slope and we get trees all over the um, all over the torus. Um, okay, so um, let's have more of them. Uh, a couple of things we can do. There's Lots of ways. Um, the model size is actually 10. The model size is correct. If I go right click and hit automatically set model size, it doesn't change because our trees are actually 10 units tall. Um, however, I can make them uh, kind of uh, more cramped and intersect more if I lower this size. Uh, however, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is I'll up the seed multiplier. So I'll up that to say 3, uh, which will give us some more trees. And then um, maybe I'll put that at 5, say. And uh, then to get rid of some of the intersections, I can then turn up sparsity. So if I turn up sparsity to two, uh, the trees that are closest together, it will um, it will prune. So um, and very quickly, you can end up with um, yeah, just a uh, bizarro ecosystem on any which mesh you like. So. Um, yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Uh, it's just um, the ignore slope checkbox. And actually, um, now that I think about it, this automatically set model size is new as well. So. Um, uh, hopefully uh, you'll find those settings useful. We also have some new cluster settings which I'll go through in another video.